waiting to get us underway. Well, uh, the temperature in Goa and indeed the tempers on the Fatoda pitch have both tended to rise a few notches in recent weeks. But amidst the heat here, who will take this game by storm? Now, is this a penalty? Yes, it is. Well, it was chaotic in there. But... Churchill brothers have come up trumps in that challenge indeed and Plaza giving Lachenpa the eyes. It's Plaza! Irresistible Willis Plaza. That's two in two. Seven for the season. And slowly but surely he is getting back to his brilliant and consistent self. Churchill Brothers 1, Real Kashmir nil. Hang Shing looks for Plaza. Ball just got stuck under his feet. It's still with Plaza. And now it's Mapuya! Well, we mentioned how Churchill had gotten those two back up front together in plaza and mapuya and i tell you what it has reaped dividends and how mapuya with an absolute scorcher churchill brothers to real kashmir nil blocked there though from ratan fabu pakar ball comes in acrobatic effort from katibi robin missed his kick but No excuses really for you guys. This ball is towards Mapuya again for his second, but Lachenpa got there first. And Robin Singh is pursuing this, but to futile effect. The initiative, of course, has to come from the away team. Maybe they can make something happen here. Robin couldn't win that header. This is Higginbottom now, who'll have a crack! This is Ralte. Now Brian Mascarenas decides to send the ball in and it's Mason Robertson who got there first. The offside flag was up though, it wouldn't have counted. Down below us, it's Plaza's made the run outright. And Plaza's won it against Loveday and he's twisted away from him as well. It's Willis Plaza. Knew exactly what he was doing, Willis Plaza, on that occasion. Well, he knew he could have pulled the trigger. Or perhaps have a pretty thick wall here. It will be Juan Gomez to have a crack, but... You've seen him have better efforts on goal. It's easy peasy at the moment as Plaza has a lot of space here and this ball might well fall to Mapuya from getting a touch on that ball. Plaza, but there will be no time for another Churchill attack. It is half time at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Madagao, ladies and gentlemen. And it is the home team who are going into the dressing room the happier the merrier because they lead by two goals to nil plaza early on in the game inside 10 minutes going to a handball in the penalty area and a penalty well i mentioned that if you've missed the first half you've missed 45 minutes of absorbing action but the good thing is that you're here for the second, which promises to be. Martins will leave it for Juan Gomez. And that's towards Abu Bakar. Loveday was treading dangerous waters there. It's come out to Pedro. And Plaza still battling for it. This has come out to Mapuya. Scuffs his shot. Too many white shirts in the way. Robertson straight into the box, three waiting. It's come out to Ralte. 
just couldn't get enough time to get his shot away. Hagen bottom in for Bazi, who really was whiskers away to getting there, but it's still alive here for Real Kashmir towards Bazi again. This time he does get ahead to it. But it will be a Churchill goal kick. Just a bit too high, perhaps. So they're trailing the game to nil, and now this is Ritwik Das, the substitute for the first time in the game, really having an impact. And here's the other one. Callum Higginbottom had a shot. Now this is Bazi. No free kick on Pedro. Bazi with the shot. Blocked away. Will fall to Mason Robertson. Joval Martins tidies up masterfully. Farhan. Higginbottom with a second bite at the cross. And this time it's Mason Robertson who gets ahead to it. Now Bazi still alive for Bazi. And Mason Robertson. It hit Plaza along the way. Just wonder if that was this time to get into the goal and another ball in this time missed by the Red Machines Mason looking to referee says play on Joel Martins looks for Mapuya this could be his second Mapuya what a chance that was Mapuya one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper you really thought Pedro he's been robbed off it and it's three against three here. Mason Roberts and options left and right. He's chosen the left. Callum Higginbottom. Oh, what a challenge. Full marks to Hang Shing there. Kept his eye on the ball and not on the feet of the player who's running at you. Again towards Mason Roberts and the goalkeeper is out of his line. Callum Higginbottom might fall for Mapuya. Has that ability to run with the ball. And now, this is Mapuya. He's onside here. Mapuya might still be alive. And now it's Plaza. His shot was blocked. Mapuya again. And it's wide of the far post. They need a goal and they need it fast. This ball comes in. This is towards Robin Singh. Real Kashmir right back in it. Well, it was quick. It was direct. The Robin got his head in the right place at the right time. It's 2-1 here, ladies and gentlemen. An exciting eight minutes or so up ahead. This is Robin Singh again. He's going to take a shot himself. Not too far away, that one either. He's full of confidence now. Pedro trying to pick his way through. Goes down. No free kick. Danish Farouk will come away with it. Now Higginbottom. He's found the feet of Robertson. Two waiting in the centre. One of those is Robin Singh. Went beyond him and... Well, despite his stretching effort, he won't be able to keep it in play. Mapuya making a forward run. It's Juan Gomez who's found Pedro beautifully. What a spot that was. It's Wang Chia on the overlap. Pedro's going on his own. And find the run of Willis Plaza. Draws the saves out of Lechenpa. It's one on one with his man. Pedro still has it, Pedro. Tanish Farouk battling for it. With Viktas coming out with it. And lovely use of the chest by Robin Singh. It's Crizo. Still Crizo. Found Mason Robertson here. Robertson cuts inside. Saved by the goalkeeper. And finally cleared out by Joval Martins because Robin Singh was lurking. That clearance had to be made in the nick of time. A set piece which the men in white have right now. Ball comes in, Robin's touch was heavy and now Farhan Ghani's shot took a wicked deflection, could have gone anywhere. Thankfully for Partil and indeed thankfully for Churchill it went over the goal. And eventually cleared out. And that is that. The referee has blown his whistle. Well, you have to say, it certainly was uh, an absorbing game of football.